Hi, this is Scott Bergeron over at Century 21, Curran Olbersky here at wonderful Metro Detroit. And today's video is about the is talking about the best way to find a home. Okay? I've seen all types of different plans and ways and styles of finding a home. I've seen people that search on Zillow and they look at, they go to open houses and do all this other stuff. There's one really simple plan that can help you find a home. And it starts with one important piece. You gotta find an aggressive realtor who cares about you, okay? Now when I use the word aggressive, people are gonna freak out. They're gonna be like, oh my God, I hope they don't pressure me and all this stuff. No, that's not what I'm talking about. You want a realtor who's aggressive with everyone else in the process, except yourself, okay? You want them to listen and care about your needs, but push other agents to do what they said they were gonna do. To get the letter, to get things moving, all those different types of things, okay? I was recently called by a young lady, uh, we found her a dream home, she called me a shark and she said it through a big smile. That means that I push on it and, and make people do the right things and help clients get their homes, okay? But this video is definitely not about me, so let's talk about the five-step process that will be the best way for you to find a home. Step number one, get pre-approved. My suggestion here is to use or get a referral from either your agent or somebody that you know and trust. A lot of times folks go with the things they see advertised on the internet, lowest rate, a lot of those companies bounce you around all over the place. So definitely get a, a referral for a good mortgage lender and get pre-approved. Now, the reason you get pre-approved first is because then you know what you can spend and then you start to get comfortable with what you can afford. Like you should, you'll know relatively where your payment's gonna be at, you know what your top end is gonna be as far as purchase power. So that's something that you wanna know, okay? Step number two, sit down with the agent, okay? Agent and you should get to know each other better, and they're gonna. If they ask you a lot of questions, that's a good thing. They're trying to figure out what you want and what will work for you. Okay? That's the only way that we do it on the Bergeron team. We don't meet folks at houses typically. We typically have people that come into the office. We call it CTO. Come into the office, and we sit down and talk and figure things out because we want to be comfortable with each other. We want to be able to understand what you want. Okay. Three. Schedule three to six homes for every home tour. I'm very, I have a very hard rule about showing somebody one house. I typically don't do it because you don't have other homes to compare it to. You just have the one home and that's it. Same thing when you get past six. Folks are like, well, I have 10 houses I want to see. Well, you shouldn't go see those on the same day, in the same tour, because all of a sudden you start going, oh, well, where are we going? Which, oh, that house, uh, which one? I can't remember. And it starts looking at me like this, you know, like bobblehead stuff. So schedule three to six homes for the home tour. Four, understand the 80-20 rule. 80-20 rule is basically this in real estate. 80% of the things you want and love are in this house. 20% of them you can change or live with. Really hard to find 100% every single thing you want in a home. Okay? You want to check 80% of those boxes off, and it should be 20% should be mostly things you can change or you can deal with. If you can, then that's not the right house for you. And then step five is pull a trigger. Once you've decided and walked through your checklist of things that you want and it fits most of them, you want to make a move. Okay? I've seen plenty of folks miss out on homes because they waited around for too much time. At the very least, have your agent call their agent and let them know you're interested so that if there's anything going on or something pops up, they can give them a call. Okay? So again, the five steps to help to make it help, uh, easy for you to find a home. One, get pre-approved. Two, sit down with the agent and be honest. Three, schedule three to six homes for every home tour. Four, understand the 80-20 rule, how it applies to real estate. And then five, pull the trigger. Okay. Hopefully, this process helps you out and makes your home buying at least less stressful. I always tell folks, it's never going to be completely stress-free, but if we do it right, it may, it's less stressful than normal. This is Scott Bergeron signing off from Century 21, Corinne Olbersky.